I'm Emily. I play Daisy. I'm Erin Davey, and I play Violet. It's photo shoot day! Yeah, we're very excited. Everyone's getting ready, and some of the attractions we've not even seen yet because they're new to the production, so we're excited to see everybody. When you're dealing with characters that uh, actually existed, uh, I, I usually go directly to the source and look at photographs of them and, and who they were. And so since their career started in the teens and then went all the way through to the 40s until they retired, there was a lot of research involved. This is my third show with Paul. This is my first. He's just stylish. I mean, he makes, yeah, he makes But beautiful. unassuming. Yes, You never unassuming. imagine that this quite unassuming gentleman mm -hmm. makes these fantastic Costumes. My name is Cookie Jordan and I am the makeup designer and I design anything that the actors wear on their face that's not a prosthetic. I call her the Oracle because she reminds me of the Oracle from all the Matrix movies. I've told her that so it's not offensive but um, she's just got this kind of warm vibe about her. In this show we have lots and lots of looks. When the show starts the opening number is Come Look at the Freaks and practically every cast member in the show has a freak look. Some of them have full face masks that have been made by Dave Elsie and his team and he's an Academy Award winner prosthetic designer for Hollywood and some of them don't. So the ones that don't it is my job to design them a look. We've got the Hilton sisters, uh, Daisy and Violet, and they're conjoined twins. They're kind of Mary Pickford-esque when they first start, uh, you know, with sausage curls, and they've got a, you know, 20s net dress, you know, they're very, um, uh, I guess innocence, but there's also a quality of Raggedy Ann about them, a feeling of nostalgia, uh, and all of that is put on, and you you know you realize that they're real people, that they both have different personalities, even though they're connected. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, right this way. There's Sir, who is the owner of the Carney or owner of the Sideshow. Robert Joy, I play Sir in Sideshow person who invites the audience to step inside the tent and see all these amazing attractions. I am David St. Louis. I play Jake. I'm the girl's protector, the twins. Jake, the cannibal king, he's their caretaker, I guess. You know, he's the person that watches out for them. He has furry pants and a bear claw collar. Hi, I'm Hannah Shankman. I'm playing the tattooed lady. The tattooed lady is dressed in a leather bikini, and then she's got tattoos all over her body. But, you know, even though it's a bikini, it's a 1930s bikini. Hi, I'm Lauren Elder, and I play the living Venus de Milo, the woman with no arms. The armless lady, Venus, uh, we call her, is corseted in a leather corset and brown laced up pants uh, and a cape. I'm Charity Dawson and I play the fortune teller. The fortune teller is pretty exotic and has flavors of North Africa and Turkish. I'm Josh Walker and I play the Russian Cossack. Jordana and I am the little female Cossack. The Cossacks, they're a sweet kind of Polish slash Russian couple. Uh, and they're little people, so the miniature version of that, a, kind of a mazurka dancing couple. Hey guys, I'm Javier Ignacio and I'm playing Dog Boy in The Freak Show. Dog Face Boy is a young boy that has hair growing all over his face and he has a military uniform on. Hi, I'm Blair Ross and I'm playing the bearded lady in Sideshow. She's more of a belly dancer slash bearded lady. She's both sexy and bearded. Hi, my name is Kelvin Moonlow, and I play the half-man, half-woman. <laughs> he, she is in a costume that's split suit for the male side and a 1920s dress for the female side. Hi, I'm Brandon Bieber. I play the three-legged man, and this is Horace, my third leg. He's kind of a Oscar Wilde take on the three-legged man. I mean, he's kind of a, a tuxedoed kind of guy. Hello, I'm Matt Davis, and I'm the geek. The Geek, he's his own man. Again, he is, he's tuxedoed, but in quite a different way. He's, he has a striped bodysuit to accentuate his length. Uh, and then uh, he's also masked with kind of an oversized face. The Reptilian Man, historically, that kind of freak would have eczema, like an overextended eczema on his skin. It's a bad condition. So that was what we were trying to recreate. You know, so he has a mask and a full body 
of eczema. And then there's a very distressed set of overalls and boots. Hey, I'm Barrett Martin, and I'm going to be playing the human pincushion. He sticks pins all around his body. I mean, so he's got rows of pins down his arms, nails through his forehead and through his cheeks, and two pins that are across his torso. I'm Con O'Shea Creel, and I'm a roustabout. Hey, I'm Derek Hansen. I'm playing a roustabout. The roustabouts within the world of a sideshow, they set up the tent. They do break down, they pack up. They're there to be like stagehands for uh, the theater. They're, they're, they're the equivalent of stagehands. I think that the Washington audience will enjoy that it's a fully realized idea and world. It's very wonderfully exotic because of all of the detail and the culturally diverse quality of the freaks. And I think it will be an exciting evening for anyone coming to see the show.